up. So <laughs> we got a couple of things that we got going on as far as uh, I know y'all want to hear the celebrity mess. We'll throw that in there too. Mm-hmm. But my man C Doug got a little uh, game for you. Uh-huh. Yeah. See, was uh-huh. yeah, are we, that are we going into that right Let's now? Right okay, now, the, the game is called Give Me Five. Uh-huh. Not a high five. Not a low. Not a, not a little five. Mm-hmm. Not a five dollar bill. I need you to give me five correct answers. Oh, Lord. Okay. Come with it now. now, here's the thing <laughs> you got 10 seconds to answer this question. <laughs> now, while you answering these questions, you may not say, uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh. None of that. Oh, that's an L right there. If we hear that, you will lose the game. You have an L. That's your first You will have an L. L. Now, since this is the first game and I'm kind of hitting you off to the side, I'm going to give you your choice of, of, of topics that you can, you can ask. So, one of them is food coma. Another one is the letter J. Uh-huh. And the other one is movies. Food Choice. coma, the letter J, or movies. Mm-hmm. Food coma. Food coma. I figured she'll pick that. Yeah, I figured she'd pick that one too. <laughs> That's why I did it. Yeah. So we're gonna have a five second timer. Are we? Are we almost up? I'm gonna ask the question. What's the question? Once I ask the question, you'll have ten seconds to answer the question. Mm. Or my go. Okay. So question is coming up in one second. Give us a second. But uh. Until then, while we getting that set up, we we almost there. Okay, while we almost getting that set up, are you nervous? Yes. All right. You better not be. Girl. <laughs> you better not be nervous, girl. Because look, the way you've been running through this whole thing here, I don't see no nervousness. <laughs> she ain't nervous. She she you know she trying to be humble. Okay, so modest, now we ready. Very modest in here. Uh, all right. So all right, now we ready. So you ready for the question? Let's go. Let's go. All right, you got 10 seconds to answer this question. Let's do it. I need you to give me five seafoods. Go. Shrimp, lobster, crab, oyster, <laughs> crawfish. Crawfish. Okay. Is she getting it in 10 seconds? She got way before Oh, she had seconds. Uh, way before. Way before, way before 10, 10, seconds. 10 seconds. She flew through that. You should have gave her that. some harder things like oh. airline names or something. I could. I can she and she didn't say uh. No. I know she didn't. She that was good. That. that was good. Let, matter of fact, let's give her another one. Let's do another you one. You another down one? for another one? You down for another? Yo, Come make on, it now. harder, B. Make this harder, yo. We are gonna do the letter J. Mm. Are you ready? Mm. All right. Wait, hold on. She ain't say she ready yet. She thinking right now. Yeah. I'm ready. Give mm. me five J names. Ooh. Go. James Jefferson, Ten, Jeff, nine, Jen, eight, Jackson. Seven, God, six, there we go. Five. There we go. That was that was. You know what? Those were the easy. They ones. was too easy. <laughs> Those were the easy ones. Guess Give it a harder was, one. B. Give it a harder one. <laughs> give it a harder one. <laughs> okay, here we go. Well, I'm gonna give you the last one. It's probably gonna be the hardest one. Oh, she, she like, uh, but she she, she bled through. On my mark, I need five. Samuel Jackson movies. Go. Ooh. Ooh. Ten. Nine. Incredible. Come on. Seven. Uh, six. I said, uh. Did uh, she say, uh, she say Incredibles? Uh, she said, uh. Did she say Incredibles? <laughs> she Let's said, uh. That was it? She said, uh. She said, uh, Incredibles. You, you know. Uh, hey, you know what? She did good. She though. did good, though. She did good. <laughs> she did good. Look. <laughs> <laughs> nice said she got to watch movies tonight, yo. Oh yeah. my god! It, you know what? I think she would have did good. It's the uh that kind of messes people yeah, up. But you it, did good it, on the first you two. You did good, yo, yo. Good I job. gotta give it up. Good job, good job. Thank you. Yeah. Good job. Word up. So yeah, man. You know, um, I wanted to chime a little bit about you know parenting. Uh, we got this thing where. Um, we like to send our kids to school, right? They go to middle school, they get into high school, and these kids usually, you know, they choose what sport they want to play, if they're mm-hmm. going to do music or whatever, but they end up, some some kids end up just doing whatever, right? Because right. school ain't for everybody. Right. Uh, which we do want to encourage all kids, yo, go to school, graduate, do your thing, whatever. Right. Um, But do we force them to do a certain sport or whatever it may be for them to get a scholarship when they don't care for that 
sport. So, for instance, I met a young lady this week. Um, she was running track. She didn't want to do it. She was totally disappointed. This was like a second day running. She just, but she ran like she know how to run. She's fast. She was like, I'm fast, but I don't want to do this. I want to do dancing. Parents was like, you know, you need a scholarship. How do we fix that? Because I know a lot of parents would push their kids on doing something that they don't want to do. You know, then they fail, and then we get mad at them for it. You know, is that a good thing or is it a bad thing? Should we be forcing our kids? Absolutely not. I don't think so. I don't Uh think so. Absolutely not. I have, I have some things to talk about about that. You know what I mean? Like when I was growing up, like my mom, she was my cheerleading coach, Mm -hmm. and she was also my praise and worship coach you know in church so for me it's like you know like being in the church is cool but I didn't really want to do cheerleading or praise dancing because I played sports you know sports made me happy I played a lot of them like a lot all the way from middle school to college so I don't think that you should ever force your children to do something that they don't want to do yeah Yeah, I thought it was kind of off um I actually have a little cousin that passed away uh, he was in everything. I mean, he was in the basketball, football, baseball, you name it. And my, with, he's my second cousin, but my first cousin, his father, was very big on football, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember the days he used to just come to my crib and just be, you know, kind of disappointed. Not disappointed, but he just didn't want to play none of these sports except for one of them, which was basketball. But his father, my cousin, pushed football, football, football. And, um, you know, there was some friction there, you know. So I know it's not a great thing to do. But, man, when I seen that young girl face, man, she just was, like, defeated. And mm-hmm. she was hollering mm, when I seen her. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's, it's a little, you know, displeasing to see a kid, you know, want to do good in school and, you know, actually doing good. Mm-hmm. But then having this weight on their shoulder already i think they already got enough weight on their shoulder right. having to graduate you mm-hmm. know right so it's a mess man but well, for me you know uh shout outs to tony harris mm-hmm. is the first female oh yeah woman to actually receive a full football scholarship yeah. to college wow. shout out to her yo, yo. Her. so Good you know yo. i gotta i gotta That's i gotta do so you know if it's a passion, mm-hmm. go for your passion. Go go for what you know. Go for your passion. Now, sometimes it's a means to an end for some situations, and sometimes you got to educate yourself on, on certain things because, right. you know, the school system isn't really designed for entrepreneurship and things like that. But I always feel like people should push for a little bit more. Like, you can, you can draw cartoons, but you could be the company that actually people – you could be Pixar. True. Right. You know what I'm True. saying? True. So you, you, you have to push for a little bit more. From your children I I always encourage children To try things out Especially the ones Who's always on their phone Mm. Um, You you, you gonna have to do something Because you ain't gonna be On this phone all day That's kind of how I am You know And and I look for things like that Yeah And you know Because this world Will really mess your children up So you want to put them In things But I would rather Them be put things in in, For their passion Like I'm dating a woman Who's Jamaican So Mm. she has the whole Football or soccer in our soccer, mm-hmm. and then you know Americans love the American football, football and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know it's it's not right for us to pull back and forth between what they want to do. We have to really sit down and see what this child wants yeah, to do, and, yeah. and even if it changes yeah. every day, yeah, oh yeah, well, yeah. Let, let it change. I did that with my son. You know, I, but, I, I, I kind of threw things in the air, let him just figure out what he wanted to do. Yeah, I, I don't know if that was the correct thing to do because this kid mm-hmm. right now he on some whatever stuff. You know what I mean, like. <laughs> But I just wanted to be you the next grow. Michael Jackson. You know, you just grow. Yeah. I just wanted to be the next Michael Jackson. That's all I, was, I wanted to be the next MC Hammer. I, was, <laughs> I just wanted to be anything with a microphone in my hand. That's that's all my it problems. was. I always wanted to be everything. Yeah. yeah. I wanted yeah. to be everything. Yeah. I was yeah. a jack of all trades. I'm telling you right now. I was a cook. I was a dancer. Mm. I was a singer. I was a rapper. But you, I was a comedian. You know these <laughs> kids these days. Like when I was younger, I mm-hmm. wanted I was I couldn't wait to jump in the car. I was twelve trying to get in the car. Mm-hmm. Now it's like you gotta force these kids to want to get a license and jump in the car. <laughs> they don't, yeah. they they don't like, care yeah. for driving. They were like, I just take an Uber, Uber. Dad. Yeah, but you know, I'm glad Uber wasn't around when I was around. I'm telling you, I'd have had about five kids by now. Uh, listen. <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe Mo. I don't know. Something like oh, that. Some, some long so, bus rides. So to, <laughs> to piggyback off that, police. Mm-hmm. I'm going to need y'all to leave these kids alone. Like, leave them alone. Man, I'm my son and his homeboy, man. I mean, the boy only 19, man. Mm-hmm. And every time this kid get in the car... They're pulling them over for stupid stuff, stuff that you know, like, and I'm, I'm, they're going to the store, mm-hmm. you know. When I'm, why I'm driving, and I can see people driving with their back tail lights completely out, right? And they don't get stopped, but right. you stopping the kid, it's, it, and it's like it would discourage you from wanting to drive. Yo, it just tore my son whole weekend up. His whole weekend just, he, you could just see it in his face. He was defeated, you know. Oh my god! Yo, I, yeah. I had guns drawn out on me. I was almost a Black Lives Matter oh, movement. I'll tell you right now. I don't even want to I had because you know what the thing is I used to have real long hair because I'm like I got a little Mexican in me so if I let this hair grow out it's beautiful I'm oh, just just saying, a little Mexican just a little bit of Mexican I got like one sixteen some up in there right. but I'm telling you right now me and my homeboys just driving mm. we just left my mama house we just going home mm. wasn't doing nothing wasn't doing nothing mm. they told us to pull over okay guns drawn yeah. before they even why yeah for what. For what reason? And that's, and that's Why? Before. Because I'm just, I think everybody has a I just got this moment. long, oh, yeah. this long, beautiful hair. You see a fro. You just see a bunch of. You just see a bunch of just a hooligans. Uh, what they didn't know is I was I was a district manager for for a rent to own company. I was making uh, my money. I didn't have to do nothing. I was making my money. Everybody in there had was going to college right, right. and doing things with right. their lives. But you know, it's the skin tone. No weed that'll snatch you over. You yeah, know, they don't really care about that. Yeah. Um, you know what? I just heard that Naki. I heard that Naki. Mm-hmm. I think I got him. That beat was rocking just now, and I just wanted it just hit me. You know what I mean? Is it possible? You know, y'all feel like just chilling with us for a second. I know y'all just joining and everything, but we've been in here kicking it. Y'all missing it. Word. Oh, don't get me to rapping. I'm sorry. I'm playing. But just <laughs> all right. So look, we gonna come back. All right. Let's get into this. Uh, I think I got him joint. Uh, from Naki, Jersey, what up? Of course, you know, I had to throw on it. You know, my Nets is rocking, so I just want to make sure y'all know what's happening. Y'all been doubting us for years, so stop playing with me. Yeah. Oh, anyway, um, so we're going to get back, all right? We got Sunshine in the building. You know who it is. It's yeah. us. It's we. It's DLE. Yeah, and we'll be right back, man. Let's get this Naki going. Uh-huh. Watching my move, they watching my move. They want me to. <laughs> I'm keeping it thorough, yeah. Like she keeping them curls. Who they gave me the world? She gave me a world, but she gave me a twirl. And then they got me rotating. You should think you were so patient, cause you knew I was chasing. But you got me that's payback, like you making low payments. But you got in that zone and you went through my phone and it make you go crazy. And then you left me with no statement. On this road I got no pavement. In this world I got no placement. And my heart just be so vacant. Yeah, girl you. Told me to smash. I got that. 